Gojuga1962 here, and today I want to discuss a topic that has a lot of people curious. What is the future of the Doom franchise? Well, I have some ideas and possible answers, so let's get into what I believe will happen because this may help some as to what to expect. As of this video's upload, Doom Eternal is the last mainline game in the franchise. This game hasn't gotten any new content in a long while, and I think it's safe to say the life cycle is complete. We got Battle Mode 2.0, Horde Mode, New Battle Passes, and Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2. The game had a successful life cycle, and though not everything made it into the game, it ended on a high note with Ancient Gods Part 2. With Doom Eternal out of the way, have there been any more new Doom games? Well, yes actually. Mighty Doom is a top-down shooter for mobile devices. This game is still relatively new and is getting new content often. So it's as simple as that, right? There's a mobile game with new content on the way, so we're good. Well, no. This is simply a mobile game that won't last long. People want a mainline game and not a spin-off one. So when can we expect a new Doom game? Well, that's hard to say, but we can use the past as a reference. Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal released four years apart. Now, admittedly, a delay was given out delaying Doom Eternal from 2019 to 2020, but I don't think the next Doom game will be delayed. But I think it's safe to say it will have a very similar time for release. I do believe that this game will take about three to four years of development, though, so I'm expecting a release around late 2023 to mid to late 2024. But keep in mind, this is merely speculation. I have no idea when the next game will come out but I do have a possibility of what the franchise will be. The listing is of hiring is for its software and one of them detailed a future game that a lone hero with an arsenal of incredible weapons and abilities versus hordes of unique and intelligent creatures. This listing fits perfectly for two franchises that it owns, Quake and Doom. So what is more likely? For Quake, it's complicated. Quake has gotten an interesting slate of games over the last few years, but the last release was the release of the original game to modern consoles and PC. But the last main release was in 2017 with Quake Champions, which is a very decisive game. Meanwhile, the last two Doom games have been massive successes, bringing id Software back to the mainstream. The description for this mysterious game fits both franchises, so who could it be? Well, with what I discussed, Doom would make a lot more sense. If it was Quake, that'd be a nice surprise, seeing as the release of the original game to modern consoles and PC was received positively. But Doom already has two games with both revolutionizing modern gaming, so I believe it's a coin flip at this point. Both are likely, neither one can be a success, but I'd bet on Doom. It's a very profitable franchise and is id's flagship franchise. I see id finishing the modern Doom series with the third game before moving on to an older series. Now let's move on to our final topic, the Doom film. Well, either a film or TV show. Recently, film director Neil Blomkamp has put us some tweets about Doom. If you don't know, Neil Blomkamp is a film director who has made Elysium, District 9, Chappie, and Gran Turismo. My personal favorite films of his are District 9 and Chappie. The reason I bring those up is because, just like Doom, these films have plenty of accent. Neil is a very talented director, and he's more than capable of making a movie that looks at like Doom Guy's backstory and will deliver on accent that Doom is so famous for, especially the gory side. Now, as of this video's upload, there was no news on if these tweets were actual teasers or just Neil posting images about something he likes. So, unfortunately, no info on if this is a show or film or even if these tweets are teasers. Only time will tell, and I can only hope it's a teaser for a proper Doom film. <laughs> So that's where we sit right now, a possible third Doom game for the modern story to finish it off with a mobile game to keep us occupied in the meantime, and a possible movie or show. I mean, it could be worse, but hey, who knows? I could be completely off and tomorrow it could reveal that Doom is taking another hiatus, but only time will tell. If you're new and like Doom content, make sure to subscribe, because I have plenty of that already. Don't tell anyone, but I'm working on making a video that looks at how all its software games are connected and how this could lead into a multiverse game. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, Gojira962, signing off.